we're ready. Go ahead. Well, hey everyone. I'm glad. I'm glad to see such a big turnout. Um, uh, as Louise said, I'm, you know, I'm Ashley. I just graduated last year, um, so I'm just the, the class right before all you guys. Um, and I was definitely in the position of uh, not having even a prospect of a job at the time I graduated um, and not kind of knowing how to handle searching for that plus, you know, prepping for the bar exam. And then the bar exam kind of just took over my life. So to be honest, I didn't really... Uh, really, really start pushing until after the bar exam was over. But I did make some contacts uh, prior uh, that I think were extremely helpful for my job search. Um, as just like a brief note, I mean, part of the reason that I got lucky enough to get a to get a job at Forella is uh, in my first year, my 1L year, uh, I had kind of started doing the networking thing and shooting email like an obnoxious emails to people and hoping to get a response every now and then. Uh, and I actually got one from a senior associate at Ferrella who does environmental law, who is a Hastings grad, who was like, look, I mean, to be honest with you, your grades, your grades are fine, but you're not going to be good enough for Ferrella, but I'm happy to help. Uh, to, you know, and that's kind of honestly how it started. And we just maintained contact for the three years that I was in law school and before the bar exam and after the bar exam. I'd shoot her an email and be like, hey, do you have time for some coffee? She would try to give me some contacts at other firms. And uh, kind of in a in a weird situation, uh, Frella decided that they wanted to hire in their environmental law department. And um, I remember it was right after I had taken the bar, I had coffee with her, and she's like, look, we're looking for like a lateral. Uh, Ferrella almost, I, I would say almost exclusively, I think I'm very much an outlier, uh, hires out of OCI. So uh, being a first year and coming in uh, not through the OCI program is, is not something they usually do. And they were advertising for two to three years of experience. And so they very much wanted a lateral. But she's like, look, why don't you apply? Uh, at least your name will be you know, out there. Um, and I applied in September. And I didn't hear anything until we had coffee again in October. And she's like, did you get your rejection letter yet? That's like actually how it was phrased. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, no, I was kind of surprised. She's like, huh. And she's like, OK, well, I'll check on that. And I think the next day I got the call for an interview. And I think part of it was because um, kind of in the interim, they had decided they wanted to hire both a first year and a lateral. And she kind of then helped uh, push my resume in front of the chair of the practice and said, look, if you're going to if you're going to interview a, a first year, you might as well interview this person I can vouch for. So I will say that that connection um, helped me get in the door. And I found out even more after I started working there that I owe her like several drinks um, because she definitely helped kind of push me through the door. But to be honest, I mean, I interviewed in October. I and again, all this time, I have no job. Um, I don't know. I'm getting a little bit stressed, and I'm trying to maintain a job search outside of that because I didn't actually get the offer from Forella until December. So I was very much in this awkward like I would kill to work at Forella, but they're not. They're moving at the, a glacial pace, and so I and there's no guarantee I'm going to get a job. So um, you know, as we said, I, I definitely had a, a pretty focused system. Uh, that worked for me, and I don't know if it would work for everybody. Um, I was very interested. I, I don't know how many of you just want to do litigation, how many of you want to work in firms, how many of you have a specialty. Um, I very much wanted to work in a firm, and I very much wanted to do environmental law. So my first step was using the career office and getting one of those big spreadsheets, Hastings alums in the Bay Area that do environmental law. And then I would go through and I'd look um, you know, at the website of the firm, see if I recognize the name, see kind of, you know, do they really do what I actually want to do? Do they have an opening posted? Um, how Does it seem like they've recently hired folks, so probably won't be hiring anyone more? Um, I mean, it was kind of like this really, like, ridiculous process, but I had nothing else to do, to be honest with you. So, I, you know, I really focused on it. Um, and then I would start shooting emails out. Um, and I found that different things uh, worked better. Uh, I actually found that I got more responses, surprisingly, from partners than I did from associates. Um, especially partners in the environmental law practice who were very, I think partially because my resume just screams environmental law, they were like, oh, well, you're not just shooting me an email, you're actually interested in this. An associate doesn't really have time, usually, to respond to all the requests, but a partner, I think, gets them more rarely, probably, because people are afraid to reach out to partners. Um, and so I, I got a lot of responses where they were like, it was a lot of keep your chin up, um, but also a lot of, hey, why don't you just give a, give a call to so-and-so over at, you know, Alan Matkins. Like, I'm sure she'd be happy to talk to you. Let me, I tell you what, let me just forward your information along. 
um, and, and you know, n not really an interview, but just kind of making those contacts uh, that I found was really, really helpful. Um, I also found that on occasion, uh, people would be like, yeah, if you're interested in, in chatting, why don't, you, why don't you be in touch next week and maybe we can get coffee? And I think that that's very much a way of them to like, for them to weed out who is actually interested and who isn't. Um, and so I was very good. I had like a little spreadsheet. I'd be like, all right, I should email this person again. And I'd be like, hey, you know, you said to contact you next week. I'm still available for coffee if you're, if you're willing. And almost certainly they would say when we did meet for coffee that like, I'm really glad that you actually decided to come out because I get so many emails from people. And they, you know, there are these like standard, hey, I'm looking for, I'm a Hastings, you know, uh, 3L or I'm a, Hast a recent Hastings grad and I need a job. And then I, you know, tell them to follow up and then I just never hear from them again. So they very much, a lot of times I got even more contacts or I got, um, later on I got, after I got the Ferrella job, before I, uh, you know, I had told anybody, um, I would get then interview requests later. And I was like, oh, that's great. Sorry, I just actually got something. But, you know, it did end up working out well. Um, so, I mean, I think my first piece of advice would be to not be afraid to shoot emails to people and also not be afraid to be yourself in those emails. They're extremely boring. I, I started writing very boring emails, and they were very like standard. It was like it was like a couple lines, and it was just rattling on about like, look how great I am. Well, that's not going to do anything. Um, and so I started kind of changing the tone, making it much more friendly, much more, you know, if you've got some time to help out a Hastings alum, that would be great. You know, less like I'm, you know, writing a cover letter and more just friendly. And I found that I got more responses that way. I think people weren't as um, annoyed and thinking it was just like me sending out uh, cover letters. It was more just, I was actually just curious. I actually just wanted to chat. And I think that helped. And I would say the other uh, thing that really helped is when they say that they're willing to meet for coffee or have a phone call, even if you don't know what to say and it's going to be totally awkward and you don't know what to wear or whatever, you know, just do it. Um, and I, I do honestly believe that that is the way that you are going to make the real connections in your job search. Um, you know, I mean, I, for instance, I, um, there was a firm, I emailed the managing partner. She was like, yeah, you know, why don't you come into the office? You know, are you free to come into the office? We can chat. Not an interview, not a job or anything like that. So I had a little stress about like, well, what do I wear? Like, you know, so I ended up just wearing a suit and going in and she made a comment like, wow, you're, you know, you're all dressed up. And I'm like, well, you know, you're the managing partner of the firm and I'm here to impress you. Right. And so she, she laughed, you know, it was like funny. Um, and I, again, she mentioned the fact that I came in was important to her because she, she'll ask people, uh, you know, to come in and chat and they're like, no, if you're not going to give me a job, I like, why am I going to waste my time? And, um, and she's at, like, they all had like horror stories of people saying things like that. So please don't say things like that to them. Um, and you know, like two days after I got the offer from Farella, she called to bring me in for an interview and I told her I'd gotten something somewhere else. And she was like, Hey, well, let's have coffee once you start. And again, even though my job search was over, I think maintaining those contacts is very important. Um, and so I was like, sure. And it turns out they were still looking. And I recommended a friend of mine who was from my year who didn't have a job yet. And she just started this week. So you'd be surprised also how much, um, you know, you can also help others. Um, there were also a couple times where I would chat with people and I realized it wasn't for me, but maybe it would be for somebody else. And so I would like shoot an email to a friend and be like, hey, like, I think they might be looking. You might want to check it out. Uh, this, this person was extremely friendly. So it's not just for you, I think. It's also to help out your friends because we're all um, in kind of a similar situation uh, with, with the economy, with the job search, and with the uncertainty. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess that's my, my bit. Okay, so we're going to now, and we'll have questions for